First up, she's a psychotherapist, author, and host of the Where Should We Begin podcast. Esther Perel is over here. Hello. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? Okay, you know, uh, I've been anxious to talk to you for some time. I thought, oh, you know, this will be a nice break. The news is so depressing, and we'll just talk about sex and relationships. But really, we have to talk about that that's a crisis, too. Right? <laughs> there really is. I mean, we're more connected than ever. Yep. This is a point you make often. And yet, there's a loneliness epidemic. There's a lack of sex epidemic. Now, I blame the phone for everything. And until someone proves me wrong, I'm going to blame it for this. Am I wrong about that? No. Actually, no. Um, there is a sense that modern loneliness actually masks itself as hyperconnectivity. So it's the phone, but it's also every other technology that we are communicating through. Mm. It's that it's uh, basically giving us a sense of what I have begun to call artificial intimacy. It's distracted attention. I talk to you, even through the phone, exactly through the phone, and I say to you something really important, and you go, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> And I know that you're actually multitasking, that you're doing something else while you're talking to me. And we have come to you accept... You're talking about actually talking on the phone? Yeah. Because most people don't do that. <laughs> no, really. That is true, I mean, too. that itself... That is it... true, too. Yeah. That is true, too. But we have a host of other technologies, right, that are accompanying us, not just the phone, that are all having this notion of being able to predict for us where we should go, what I should listen to, what I should watch, who <laughs> right. I should date, where I should go to eat. <laughs> right. You know, it's assisted living, you right. know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why is that a problem? Because each of these technologies that are supposed to help us become more connected are actually making us slightly socially more atrophied. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I get made fun of saying this, you know, that it was better because, oh, boy, you, well, thank... OK, boomer, things were always better in your day, but they fucking were. It was better when you went to a bar. As, as much of a pot shot, that is, it's certainly better than the phone because you cannot get a reading on someone over a screen. Like, I never met you in person. I'm getting more of a reading at you now. I can see you. I can see your eyes. I can smell you. I mean, it's, it's all good. No. I'm, I'm just, but, you know, like in you a know, bar, you, ha you had a shot. smell is the of memory, so it's actually a very important thing. But it's not just the difference between virtual versus seeing. It's that there is a whole approach at this moment that is trying to kind of erase the bumps of life. A technology right. that is meant to be polished, that is meant to be predictive, that is meant to kind of erase friction. You're asking me about sex. Any good sex therapist will tell you that friction is an essential part of sex. <laughs> I know I wanted to have you on this show. Just 